Hello, to students and professional class. Welcome back. Another important topic: What is transactional variant? How to create in ECC or for Hana? You take two zero two one version or any below version for like sixteen ten to seventeen zero nine. 1909, whatever you want to take, 2022 and 2023 also you take. Okay, so you first you try to understand the story behind all these versions because SD is not much updating, but other modules it is required like retail and other modules. So that's why you will have a different versions. If you learn minimum to minimum 1709, that is more than enough. All versions only like show off. Okay. Let's learn what is the transactional variant and how to create it in S4 HANA. Okay. So the transaction code is SSD0. So what exactly transactional variant? Okay. So if you open SAP system, okay. So let's take this. So if you look at this, this is VA02, change sales documents. I don't want to display all these buttons. This I cannot able to control in my document definition level. Okay. Suppose if I don't want to, I don't want to display these buttons to end users, certain users who have an end user group. I would like to control in real time. Okay. This I can able to control it. I don't want all these, uh, all these should be invisible. Okay. So like, you know, I, I mean, when I open VA02, okay. So I can, I don't want to see all these buttons, all these four buttons and all these fields. Let's try to check what extent it is possible. You can able to see. Otherwise you go to VA02. Okay. I don't want to see all these four fields. We will see how it works. What is the difference between we have two methods actually to control it. So it's again like, you know, certain times you will have some G enhancements also will be there to control it. Okay. But most of the times we can able to control at standard level that how we can able to do it, that we can able to see that. First you go this, first we will see for document creation level. Okay. This we can able to directly control here. For example, if you take my document type, I copy it as DOR as OR as DOR. Okay. So let me check if you are watching right screen, right? Yeah. So if you come back here, there is something called one field. Okay. We have discussed so many fields. Certain fields we need to discuss in a separate way. Okay. This is the variant. Okay. So this is, I'm just recording on S4 on a 2021. You can able to see this, this variant at header level. How it is going to work, I'm going to explain you in another few minutes. Okay. So, what is the limitation for this and how we can able to export that other for all other screens that we can able to see this? Okay. So, this is for this. Now go to maybe this one delivery. Okay. So, delivery level also, if you want, we can control, but you don't have this. So See, you don't have that variant to create here. So it is not supporting. So you see order header and delivery header. This is what you have to observe and learn. Now go to BOFA. Here also you cannot able to control it. But how do we do that? Let's check today some examples for invoice, how to control the fields. So you, do, you don't have any variant, right? To assign here, okay? You have a standard text. So you don't have any variant here. Okay, let's try to check this on SAP system. Okay, so the transaction code is SHD0. Let's open this. So let's do one thing. First, I'll I'll do it for VA01. Okay, so we can you have to give the transaction code in the transaction code. How we can able to control? I'll explain you. This is basically for create. This is with processing by creating, you can able to control the screens. And uh, this is for change, and this is for display, and this is for check, and this is for you know test actually. Let's check this. Okay. So now I have taken VA01. Now go to the transaction variant. So maybe like you know, Y VA01 control. 
Okay, so maybe in that fine. fine, you can keep it. Okay, I'm just giving this So I'm just giving this name. Okay, press enter. Okay, so I would like to create it. Okay, how would I create it? What is the standard and transaction screen? We are going to come to know in another few minutes. Okay, now we are creating for VA01 certain things I'm going to control now. Okay, so let's create this one. Okay, so anything if you want it. How do you do that? For example, if I click this one or else press enter, so now the screen opens. Okay, now you can able to see this. So, W content uh, only for output only, and this is invisible and required. Okay, you can make certain things here as a required. Okay, certain things you don't want it, you can able to stop it. So, this is the initial screen. Okay. Now you can able to see this. What exactly? I'll, I'll I'll show you in this example. Sales office and sales group. I don't want it. Okay. I'll completely make it invisible. Okay. Probably I can do that. So right. And maybe I can do like this also. So this document is required entry without document i cannot move it so this you can able to control by your complete log also but how it differs let me explain you so it is completely you can make it invisible okay this you will have at uh, your people master customer master like you know uh, not to display okay so here in the similar way screen variant at transactional level order delivery building contract uh, invoice or else whatever you take for process transaction level it is useful that is at master data level that is something different from that okay so the master data is copied to trans transactional level for any user purpose okay day-to-day -day activities now if you see this so sales organization so probably i can make it division also mandatory field here okay so division i made it mandatory and uh, sales uh, documented i made it mandatory so I made it, these two are the, so what is this? Sales officer. No, I don't want to make it, this is required. This is invisible and this is invisible. That is my target. So what is the target? These two fields I don't want to see. This one is mandatory and these two are not mandatory. This is mandatory, okay? Probably like, you know, someone is controlling through incomplete logs, it might be mandatory, that is a different story, okay? So you can, uh, Click on menu functions. What is this menu functions? Okay, you are watching the menu function screen or not? Okay, I think I need to share this. Okay. Now you can able to see menu functions. Here you can able to see this. This user one is sales overview, sales item overview. Okay, so probably how would I show you? Here you can able to see this sales overview, item overview. Okay, and uh, ordering party. So these three. And uh, create with reference and the characteristic value, all these things are there. For example, you don't want to uh, keep it these three. Okay, don't go for more. Let's, for example, only you can try on your system. So let's click select this, select this, and select this. Okay, so these are these tabs, sub tabs before getting into the another screen. Okay, these are like a shortcuts, right? So these I don't want it. This three, one sales item and this one. Okay, please remember this. Just simple as this. Deactivate this. Okay, press enter. Okay, exit and save. Okay, now you can give the text like uh, sales PA01 star green. You can give control. Some meaning word. After you, someone is coming, so they need to understand, right? It's not all about you are working. Okay. So let's click on local objects. So there, there is no TR element right now here. Okay. So now this variant is same. What is the variant? Y B A J O one C O N. Okay. Okay, why come back? So this is the Variant transaction variant. Okay, let's select this and copy. Okay, so here are the few things are there. We're going to learn. Let's 
hold your uh, you know interest for some time okay so now let's go to vivo v8 okay so let's come here so before that one i would like to show you one thing so now let's go to the slash sd0 okay whenever you have done this right you don't know whether it is working or not before SN. let's click on the test now see this all the buttons gone okay three buttons i removed and here also like you know where is the sales of this and where is the sales, uh, the sales group both gone right so now if i go to va02 it will not work okay this variant i need to assign to my document type definition or else another process is there i will explain you that one also let's go to devour okay so with this session you are supposed to be clear everything about uh, this one okay so you should be strong in your core whatever you practice okay so let's copy this okay press enter so many people uh, in institutional level they don't explain how it works actually okay. i will show you other real time methods also what is the drama with this also i'll explain you so this is for create only to work so now you have done okay now go to so this is document type level okay va01 if you come here okay so let me activate this if you wanted to work with this you have to activate this one okay so this these are the two buttons so this variant i need to activate by default uh, if it is activated so then deactivate you cannot go okay so it is already deactivated now by default so the standard variant also set at the beginning of the transaction with the variant okay so now i save this this is fine you don't, i don't require it. if if i don't want it simply i need to disable uh, deactivate this now go to va01 see everything gone right the sales office on this thing okay now let me show you another example okay Okay, so this is the inside also, all these tabs also you can able to control it. So when I enter war, okay, so now everything is coming right, sales office and all those things because so this is uh, one is at a screen level and second one is what I would say variant level. Variant level I can able to control this, okay. So this is what it is happening, okay. You understood this example, right? Now let's go to VA01. Uh, let me put it DOR. Okay. Inside you will have every, anything, outside only we control. This is one example. Okay. Now let's go to SHD0. If you don't want it, simply deactivate it. When you deactivate it, now go to VA01. So now everything is coming, right? Item overview, sales overview, characteristics, and all those things. Your sales office, this is how you have to create it. I will show you another example. Okay, how it works in real time. So, group of users they will assign these variants actually. Okay, try to understand. Case one we have seen. Case two probably I can show you. It's boring, right? It's check in billing document VF01. So, as VF02. Okay, change mode we'll see. Let me try to disable all these four fields invisible as an example. Okay, for the time being. Let's let's try to extend it. That is a different story. So now go to SSB0. In the simpler way, you can able to do it for delivery also. So what is the transaction code? This is VF02. Okay. So change billing document. What I want it? I want another variant. So like uh, YVF02. Uh, field control. Okay. This is what I would like to create it. Okay. So Let's create this. Okay. Now you are at the right place. Okay. So let's select this any one of the field. Let's press enter. You are getting this field, uh, screen, right? So I would like to, I don't want document number. I don't want company code. So please 
I'm not repeating the process. I will try to show you another method actually. You try to understand things where with patience. See, all with patience required. If you want to learn something, if you want to grow in life, must have patience. I also it, but please bear with me. So another few minutes, we can better understand. So now, now let me try to check if possible. I'll try to do one thing. I'll show you that one also. Let me try to do one thing. So I'll just take out this document flow button. Okay. So I'll just inactivate this. Okay. And let's see if it works. This is fine. Second times beyond this, something will be there. So exit and save. Okay. This is building change control. Okay. I'll put this like this. So now again, you can able to see whatever you're supposed to do is okay. So you can able to see this, and if you'd like to see the menu functions, you can click here, and you can able to see this one also. Okay. So I don't want to do this. Okay. Okay. Oh God. Building change. Okay. Let's press enter. Let's save this. In saving here, you have to do let's share this. Come back. Okay. Now I would like to show you. Okay. Now if I go to VF02, everything is available here. Okay. So now I would like to assign to particular user group or a particular user that I would like, I wanted to show you. Okay. So this is another method. You come here. Okay. So I don't want to disturb other countries. I would like to disturb the same VF02 transaction for everyone using India, US, UK, and everybody. Okay. So what I would like to do is, okay. So I would like to first activate this. Okay. Um, Let's activate. Okay. Once activate also, okay. I would like to specifically work for specific user. That is my target. Okay. Now it is coming for everybody. Okay. That I cannot able to show you because this is single user. But how to control, I will explain with you. Okay. Now come to the variant group. This is the user. You have to assign it. Okay. So this okay. You click on assign. Okay, so now assign to this variant group. What is the variant group? Okay, so we have to create one group and you have to assign it. Maybe like I have to get the white as building change control. Okay, that's it. So now I need to assign this. Okay, this is one thing. See here. We have uh, something like, you know, transport also will be there. If you wanted to put the set proposal and basic proposal, and if you'd like to delete assignment also, you can able to do it. I'll show you. So now it is time to activate this one. Okay. Let me show you other things also. Okay. Program and all this program and screen level also. You can able to complete screen also. We can able to disable it. That is different story. Let's activate it. Okay. So uh, what is this? Okay. So now we activated. Now let's go and check. You have, you can able to test here. See okay. now we have, all fields gone right, but document flow it is not gone. Let's check that if any possibility is there. So maybe like you know some on top of it also system level control also will be there. Everything uh, we cannot able to show here, but let me go to the change and let me give it try right one more time. So this one is there. Click on menu functions. Okay. So it is asking program and all. So let's click the functions. Or else do one thing. Don't go away with this. Just uh, click on this and escape and cancel this one. So. Come back. 
with processing better go okay now with processing i want this one to be disabled now it will not be available here go to the menu functions go here let's check this is the process certain systems they will have different behavior if it works it works otherwise you can try on your system also this is the same process so let's select this okay deactivate okay so supposed to be select and deactivate okay enter so this one let's see one more enter But they, they always avoid wherever you want it, you can click and exit and say if you enter, it will go to the further screens. Let's see. Staying from that. Oh, my. The system itself completely closed. I don't know. Till the system got closed, I don't know some extent uh, this uh, many functions I cannot get it to disable here. Okay. What is the transaction variant I have taken this one with processing? Yeah, let's zero again. And let's put the transaction for and you can't with processing. Okay. Yes. Do this is fine. Not good. So let's do it. Let's give it a try. One more time. Let's get this. This is the last time I'm trying. Sometimes you can have a system control. So actually, this is the let me try two fields here. One is release. Okay. This one done. And next one is display document flow. Okay. Enter. Let's see and save. Let's see this. Okay, it works, it works. Otherwise, it does. Okay, save this one. Come back. Let's test this. See? Now gone. Release and document flow buttons gone. Okay? So now go to VF02. It is gone. This is how it works. So what I would like to say is, okay, previously I might not be uh, that, uh, not able to do with the flow actually. Okay. So if you come here, what is the standard element? Uh, so if you if you don't want it, again you deactivate. That's it. Deactivate it. Once I deactivate it, now let's go to DFG. All your buttons is coming, document and this flow out. Okay. Now go to SHG0. One more time I will show you. Okay. Activate this. Okay. Now go to VF02. Your release button and document flow, everything must be gone. Okay, everything is gone. This is how it works. So simply, uh, you need not delete the, for example, your variant is having more fields okay, across multiple screen. You just have to activate and inactivate. Okay, if the user is suddenly coming because, because of some goal, like the user they forgotten to maintain the, what I would say, hmm, uh, I'll show you. Where in true, this user, then this will work for everyone. Okay. So here, if I, if I assign this, it will work for my system only. See, when you are doing practice also, better assign to your user. One process, variant assigning to document type, that has a limitation. That's what I'm telling. So that is only work, work for sales document create. So sales document change or sales document uh, display or as a billing document or a delivery document, whatever the transaction flow you take, you can able to work with like you know by assigning user group and users this is how it works actually okay 
this part uh, certain times uh, Arab also will have uh, their own way of uh, you know customization also. But if you work, your project is not that much relevant. You can play with the system. So, so if you would like to delete completely, okay. So this is the button for deleting. Uh, uh, variant group was cancelled. So if you click this. And uh, if you come to the transaction variant, what is my transaction variant? This is the transaction variant, right? If I would like to delete it, I can delete it here. Okay. Either way, it is possible. But what is the recommended condition? Better don't delete it. Always active and uh, deactivate. You can try. Okay. Remember this key code. That's all for today. If you really like this video, please like it. This is my youtube channel i have changed the name recently try your skills and what i would request this is currently i'm holding 6000 plus students and i'm specifically requesting you okay if you really wanted to grow in the current market you better try this my new course sap sd on s4 hana sales you will get currently it is around 40 hours it might reach more than that in future thank you so much Wishing you all the best. Have a great day.